When I was in Europe, one of the most shocking things I saw was the lack of integration from their immigrants. In some German towns, there's more than just cultural conflict. People pledge allegiance to entirely different nations. Despite being warned by my cab driver that the area was dangerous for Canadians, I decided to take a quick trip to the district of Duisburg, Germany, called Markslow. Estimates say that Duisburg is home to around 100,000 Turkish people. In a city of a population that is just under 500,000, that's a pretty big demographic. And it shows. When I was walking through the town, my jaw was dropping. I could not believe what I was seeing and that I was still in Germany. There were cars everywhere with Turkish flags, windows with Turkish flags, and giant Turkish flags hanging from buildings above stores. Everyone spoke Turkish and the stores prominently featured Turkish goods. I didn't hear anyone speaking German when I was in Markslow. I think I saw a grand total of two non-Turkish people? How can this even be considered a part of Germany anymore? These people are not only not integrating, but they openly commit themselves to another country. It almost felt like a turf war, like the Turkish people there were claiming the land as their own, like any group of people would do when they conquer a city and put up their flag. In Markslow, Germany has surrendered its sovereignty. The Turks have completely dominated the area. There were few German flags left in Markslow. And when I did see them, they seemed like a sad little protest on conquered land, a harrowing symbol of the weary soul of Germany. Why else would you move to a country if you are in love with another? If you are so obsessed with Turkey, why not stay there? If you have no intention of being a German, why not move back? Germany is being conquered culturally, quite literally. And as immigration increases and Germany leaves its borders open, the borders of these enclaves will expand until the country is unrecognizable. You see this all over the world. We have cultural enclaves in Canada where people don't learn the language, don't integrate or mix with other Canadians, and have an entirely different culture. Our governments claim these communities are evidence of multiculturalism. But when you go to these enclaves, there is no evidence of integration. It is just segregation. And this fragile equilibrium cannot last for long. Thanks for watching. Don't miss my show Standoff by clicking here to become a member.